everyone, welcome back. We last left off with VideoScribe opened and we are about to create a new scribe. Let's begin by looking at some of the different icons and options here in VideoScribe. So we're going to begin by naming the scribe. I've clicked the save icon and I'm going to create a name for this project. So let's call this lesson one. And I'm going to put this into a base folder called video scribe course. So this folder has been created and it will show up when you enter into VideoScribe like you just saw. This icon here allows you to export a scribe file. We haven't created a scribe file yet, so we're not gonna worry about that. If we wanna save our scribe online under our account, we can do that by clicking on these clouds here. And I never use this tool, but you can take a single snapshot of your scribe and it can be created as a PDF document. I'll quickly go over these icons up here and then we'll go look at them more in depth. So this icon allows you to add an image to your canvas and look at the video scribe library. You can add text using this T icon. You can add a chart to your canvas using this icon here. You can add or change a music track. This allows you to record voice over to your scribe. I don't like doing this because it limits your editing options for creating an awesome scribe, but I'll show you how to do it coming up as well as how to import a voice over that you've recorded in another software into the scribe. That's what I prefer to do. This allows you to change the background of your canvas or the texture, which is kind of cool. And this is where you can choose the hand that will be drawing your scribe as well as the tool it's using. This icon to the right here allows you to preview play your scribe. So when we create a scribe, I will show you this because then you can see it in action. And this icon to the right of the preview icon allows you to publish, which is also known as rendering your scribe. So when you're ready to export your video, you can click on that. Again, we will look at that a little bit later on. Down here, this is the timeline where each of your elements will sit. And we have the cut option, the copy option, and the paste option here. We also have the set camera position and deset camera position here, which we will use in action while we are creating our scribe. And then we have the eyeball, which you can turn on or off so that you can either see all the elements on your timeline on your canvas or not. Again, we will look at these in action coming up. 